Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, my name is Arif Rahman Shamim and I will be your IELTS uh, speaking examiner. Okay, this is an IELTS speaking uh, test and today I will uh, conduct this test in three parts. So I think we need to introduce uh, each other first of all. So what is your full name? Well, my full name is Muhammad Ridanuddin Ramim and you can call me by my last name, Ramim. Ramim. So Ramim, can I see your identification please? Wait a moment, uh, it is in my pocket. Uh, here's the passport which I have used to register my house exam. Here it is. Okay, let me check. <coughs> Okay, Ramin, thank you so much. You can keep it now. So, uh, Ramin, in part one, I'll be asking you some general questions, okay? So, first of all, where do you live? I live at Uttara in Dhaka, which is the capital of Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And my home is very near to the airport, which is the international airport <coughs> okay. of Bangladesh. Okay. So, what places are famous in your area? Well, there are various famous places in my area, such as uh, some parks, some gardens and restaurants, and many various types of entertaining things and lots of uh, lots of yeah shopping malls also. Shopping malls also. Okay, great. So, what is famous about your area? Okay, there are lots of things. I don't know what. From where should I start? But let me start from the foods. Okay. There are many special dishes in you can get Uttara, and many types of foods from different types of countries. Okay. You get in Uttara because Uttara is very famous. It is in Dhaka, which is the capital. That's why different types of people gather here, and uh, the international airport is also here. So that's why they come here, and we need lots of things okay so how often do you go outside your locality well I go outside every day at morning and, and at evening at morning I go with my father for a morning walk it helps us to keep our body fit and in evening I go to play with my friends okay Ramin what types of transport are available in your area well in this part I am a bit lucky because uh, I have everything. What should I need? Okay. I have everything. That's great. We have the material in our area. Mm -hmm. We have the international airport. We have the railway station. And we have lots of rickshaws in Uttara. We have CNG. We have cars, buses, and so on. Okay. So which one I should try? Which one is the cheap? Well, rickshaw is the cheap little bit uh, among the other things. All right, now which food do you think I should try when I visit your local area? Well, you should visit the pasta actually. Pasta? Yeah, it's very famous. You will get in Pankori sector 15. It's actually very delicious. I have tried lots of times. Okay, so Ramim, uh, is there any changes you see in your area that you did not see in the past? Well, it, is, it depends actually. It depends in many things and it is changing day by day. When I was child, there was no material, there was no uh, this kind of boat, cars and mm -hmm. lots of things, lots of uh, well-known uh, restaurants and shopping malls day okay. by day. These things are building and we are getting lots of benefits with this and our area is totally changing and in past days we don't have this type of taller buildings and now you can see tall buildings all over in our area not only taller but also the tallers all in okay Ramim so now let's talk about sports uh, do you play sports I don't want to say <laughs> a little about it because I'm a sports person okay I I not just love it I adore it I play lots of games and among them football is my favorite I play football every day that's great so uh, why do you think people should play sports? People should play because it helps them to keep their body fit and it helps to uh, train their mind, it helps to refresh their mind, it helps to do something extra. Okay, so what sports are famous in your country? There are lots of sports but among them Hadudu is our international game 
that's why hadodo is quite famous in the village sites actually and football is also famous it's an, it's an international game but it is also famous in our country okay so sports can be an earning source do you agree or disagree well in this part i agree because lots of cricketers you can saw in so social media they are doing lot good things and they are playing for our country also and they are earning lots of money they are going to play in different countries in different leagues such as ipl and the caribbean premier league in west indies they are earning money and they are also playing uh, in england many big leagues also all right such as big bash okay ram so we are done with part 1 now in part 2 i'll be giving you a topic uh, which you need to talk about okay and i'll give you one minute time to prepare your speech so here is your pen pencil and eraser this is your topic and this is the paper you can make notes your time one minute starts now thank you <coughs> Okay uh if are you ready yeah i'm ready yeah you can start now <clears throat> well it's true that decisions can make our life uh, in good way and decision can also uh, spoil our life <clears throat> well 3 months before my exam i i was totally disappointed and i was totally demotivated also and on that time uh, i was facing lots of troubles i was not getting enough marks i was thinking that what should i do what should i think about this because my parents are very strict and uh, what they will do when they see a bad result when they will uh, what will their uh, opinion and what will their uh, reaction about this and then uh, at the same time i lost my best friend he died before uh, because of cancer and i was totally lost uh, i was totally lost and then i talked with my big brother and he tell me many things and he, uh, yeah about my this type of things did he tell me to solve everything and he told me to move on because life goes on and then i heard something some good advices for him he told me you have 3 months don't be demotivated you should work hard you should study you are a good student you should stop watching uh, videos in on youtube you should study more hard and harder you should give time in your study and you should focus on uh, your topics you should make a routine and you should do something good and do something extra what the others can do and because of his opini opinion i changed um, my way of thinking and i changed my life totally i made made a routine and i have done lots of things that i haven't done in the past that's why uh, i got a, a plus in hsc and it made my, it made me very happy and my family also and it changed my life totally okay i think <coughs> i have to stop you uh, thank you so much uh, i will collect this now that's all in the part 2 i'll collect the laser also okay okay <coughs> Okay, Rami, uh, that was great listening to you uh, talking about the decision you have taken. Now, in part three, 
I'll be asking you some questions uh, followed by your topic, I mean followed by your speech, okay? So, Ramin, is there anyone who influenced you ever uh, to take a decision? Yes, as I have mentioned that my big brother, he helped me a lot to gain a class and in the HSC exam. He is very supportive, he supports me all the time. When I'm in trouble, when I need something, when I need some advices, he is always there for me. He has done many things for me. Okay. So how do you think people should take decision? Well, it depends on the problem, it depends on the person. You have to at first notice what is the problem, you have to locate the problem, then you have to make the decision that what should you do and you can take advices from those who are capable to uh, solve this problem. Okay, so Ramin, do you support autocratic or democratic decision system? <clears throat> I support democratic absolutely, absolutely because I live in a democratic country. So that's why I support democratic because in democratic people are allowed to give their decision, give their own opinion. And but the other one people are not allowed. They are uh, only su uh, suffocated or they are only uh, deterred by I am a person those who are not capable but they are doing it but in democratic we can choose our leader we can choose who can who leads us and who can uh, give us a better future and who can uh, make our country much better okay okay, okay. some people believe uh, one decision can change a life what is your opinion about it absolutely it can it can be happen because yeah as i have mentioned that i have gained success by making a decision and I think if he plans something, he, att he attempt to do something and he have courage to do it and he work for it, he will definitely get a good result. So a person should make a good decision first, then he will get his result. Rami, uh, why are you ever late uh, to take any decision in your entire life so far? Yes, it has happened with me uh, at once. and that thing uh, fill me more regret <coughs> it will be uh, my one of the most m mistakes in my life and now i'm saying about it uh, when i was in class six <coughs> i was uh, doing lots of bad things with my friends like we were uh, playing uh, without studying we are doing bunks in schools uh, we were um, stealing many uh, mangoes from our neighbor's house and okay. we are doing this type of lots of bad works. One day we got caught actually and that on that day the neighbor beat us really bad. Really bad and then uh, we friends we got uh, very very much beaten that's why uh, our parents told us to not play with each other mm -hmm. and to not be with that company but they don't know we all are the same uh, in this part but they thought that there was one who is really bad and we are getting bad because of him and on that day i feel very sad well, yeah if we don't uh, went there to stole mangoes then our bond will be still there but he's not our friend right now he's very far away from us all right, uh, so thank you so much. Uh, I think we are done with our speaking test and that's all for today. It was nice talking. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for coming. Yeah. Thank you.